Okay, I turned down the bit right now. That's the last thing I know that could help. So we're streaming at a little bit lower upload speed now. I, but I don't know what what the reason is like the first couple of streams were totally fine, but I don't know But yeah, I mean it doesn't really matter we lost that last game anyways, there's nothing <laughs> like yeah, that's totally fine Disconnect didn't cost us anything Alright, we got challenged. So let's play this Zodiac Metal, uh, Metal for Zodiac one last time. I'm not a big fan of it so far, honestly. It's just like it doesn't seem stronger than anything else. But I didn't, like, open any broken combos. I didn't even go first most of the time. Okay. Now I went first and I opened three high scales. Should play Sea Monster of TCS. Is that what the the new fusion is called? It's not a bad card. It's okay. So the good news is we have Barrier and Maxi. Uh, do we take Counter? Probably right. Yeah, I think so. It's a good card, the fusion, but it's not like the most broken card ever. But it's good. What's the best way to go about this? I could just call XYZ straight away. Um, but there's not really a reason to, right? Like, I could let him do something. Like, make an XYZ, detach to activate the effect, and then I just barrier. I think that's fine. Because then the rat is gone, right? The rat's in the graveyard, which is one less rat I have to worry about. Like, now. I could just call XYZ now and he would be stuck with the wild bow. Right. But I'll let I'll let him go into more. Tigress. I could maxi. I like Max seeing here because he did it not the way I said last game or last time we did it. He didn't go Ballhorn first. He should have gone Ballhorn first, I think, because then he could have given us one less draw and still gotten the search. Like now he's probably not going to go Ballhorn at all. If he did the Ballhorn way, I would have just gone Barrier, I think.
Drancia. And we can negate Drancia on our turn with Barrier, that's fine. And if he pops, we can resolve counter, which is also okay. Like, okay, so this is probably barrier, right? Um, which is a problem, I guess, kind of. We can still fuse because now we have enough fuel thanks to Maxi. All right. I think we. We just go eccentric just to see just to make sure I mean what else are we gonna do with eccentric we don't have to force the drums here uh, yeah It's probably gonna be barrier, right? If he protects it with trans, yeah, yeah, it's barrier, but that's fine. Now we know if he's calling ex uh, fusion or pendulum, and we're fine either way. Can I see your decklist? Yeah, sure, it's here. This one right now not not very tested but it, it looks solid i think i don't think there's much you can you can change about it uh what did he call fusion okay uh chain another card no uh fusion is actually better for us i think that's i mean he doesn't know our hand but i think that's a mistake uh nope so I'm pretty sure calling fusion there is not correct, but all right. Now we're just gonna pendulum summon a bunch of vanillas. Run over both. Um, I'm not sure if we should even use counter this turn. We couldn't use it to be safer next turn, but Oh, we probably should. So we're gonna have backup from from. Uh, I could bring out Biz Majors to destroy it. To have a backup surge. No. Yes, maybe, probably. No, we can no. That's wrong. So how do we do this? We, we play Gold Driver, pop combination, get Bismuth Gear, pop low scale, play another low scale, Pendulum. Ah, we can't pop Bismuth Gear. Because we don't have enough targets, right? We only have two more pops. So we use up, we use up one pop for this, and then we use up the second pop. Not on Bismuth Gear, because we can't. Um, so is it even I it's still better probably to to search this menu so you can't get you can't kill my scales that easily Oh, we can still go zodiac combos because we have two level threes oh that's sick so we should have scaled this one first but it's not gonna matter i think and
No, we can't. I, I should have not summoned one of those, but it's, it's, it's probably not going to matter. And, and we can we can actually Drancia pop our own Bismagear if we want to, but I'm not sure if that's like good. We don't go for the full combo here, so I don't have to like. Uh, a follow from Copy XC. Welcome. Uh, we can banish his rat. I like that. Wait, do we win? No. No. Could have. Could we have won? No, I don't think so. Now we can pop this for more damage if we want to. Probably not worth. Because we're doing enough damage anyways, right? Should have summoned Viper in search, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, since we didn't use the effect, yeah. I'm I'm just so used to always summoning um Rat with Invoker, but yeah, that would have been better, of course. Then we had would have had the the rat backup for next turn instead of this. No, we we had, because we attached the viper anyways, right? So yeah, definitely, definitely true. But we do have barrier backup for this, so it's very unlikely that it's gonna matter. Yeah, go. So I think he should have called Pendulum on the on the barrier. But I think yeah, that's why the eccentric first was better because it doesn't give him any more information before he plays barrier. Like he has to decide right away, and we know what he's gonna decide. So yeah, it could have been a mistake potentially because he could have been running um, Scythe. That's something that I'm just now thinking about. Like he could have just had freaking Scythe. That could have wrecked us completely. So maybe maybe it was actually not correct. I'm not so sure. Uh, we could have popped this this with Drancia, but I'm, I don't think it's necessary. We just go um, barrier on fusion. Carrot top. I mean, how many rats are gone? One is engraved, one is banished. Yeah, that's fine. So we're not afraid of this at all. I mean, if Taketenborg comes down, we have to flip barrier because he might run Taketenborg. Uh, <laughs> Totem bird. Did you even search full metal? Oh no, I forgot to make this too. I should have activated the gold dragon. Or this one, I don't know, whatever. Um. I think we just call fusion. Yeah, we call fusion. Oop, oop. And just let him do whatever he wants to do with um, his terror top. Yeah, I should have main phase two pop for for full metals, but like this game is already over in my head. I don't, I can't imagine him coming back from this. We can pop it. We don't have to though. But he can force it anyways because he can attack. So. I mean, even if he had another rat in hand, he goes normal summon rat, and then what? Like, 
he can he has no more rats in deck, so it's fine. Yeah. Oh, we're playing with side, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, whatever. Hey, we have Maxi lit. Um, fine. Oh, broken hand, broken hand. Good thing we have Maxi. Maybe it's correct to drop Maxi right away against Eidolon Zodiac. Because they have Terra Top and Thrasher, most likely. I don't know though, like. It's very easy for him. Because the deck has so many traps, it's very easy for him to, to slow play under Maxi. Like, just set Sanctum or a barrier and pass. So, I'm not sure if just dropping Maxi is correct. Like, now at least we can like take out the Photon Thrasher and the Alaster. And he's still gonna fuse, so it's fine. Yeah. But he's not going for the full combo, right? He's just going for a little bit. Like, he, he's basically skipping the whole Zodiac combo here. Okay, one face down. Okay, so we know he has a monster in hand to negate something. Um, and we can't really go for eccentric on the back row because we have three eight scales once again, no low scales. We kind of have to pop our combination, right? Do we start with the zodiac combo? He can negate simply. But I think we start with it. Uh, no. Is Eidolon released for YCS Prague? Yes, it's gonna be there. So I guess I kind of have a plan here. Which is, it's going to be, I'm gonna use... I'm going to use... Summon Drancia here, I think. Then I'm gonna use the special summon effect of Drancia, he's gonna negate, and then I'm gonna chain the destruction effect. And then I can at least destroy it. Oh, he didn't, okay, that's also fine. If he doesn't negate it, that's also totally fine. Then, now, okay. cool thing about this is even if he has barrier now that we have these two monsters on the board um, he will most likely not OTK us next turn because the deck is just not capable of it usually so he barriers us on pendulum we're barriering him back so that's fine yeah I think so I think we can we can win this And now we can search this, so we can actually eccentric the back row, because we have a low scale now, that's cool. And I think I'll go for it, just to know where we're at, like, is there a barrier or not? However, it could, oh gosh, they play artifact, I'm so scared. Oh, 
wrong. How I played it. No, we're we're committed. Ha! Nice. Okay. I think fake setting next format is gonna be huge because um, barrier is just so scary. People have to do stuff like playing so weirdly around barrier. Um, I think we, we forced uh, Merkaba here. We lose Drancia, but it's fine. Because we don't risk... Like, if he negates this with the spell in his hand, we, we don't have a scale, so we're fucked. So, kind of have to. But now we can play, so... Yeah, okay. And there goes the rat. Um, so what's the best way to do this? We play Wolf Flame, Pop Wolf Flame, Steel in, Pop Wolf Flame. Yeah. We're gonna clear his board. Oh, he has Maxi because it, it asks him to change something. That's unfortunate. Uh, Wolf Flame, Wolf Flame. Regular fusion or quick play fusion? Probably regular first. Yeah. And we have barrier backup once again. Which is something that is going to be so crucial next format. Like having a way to deal with their board and then just having barrier backup, that's so strong. Uh, do we go full metal? No, right? We go counter. I think we go counter. Wait, what happens this turn? We summon three. Then we fuse into Mithrilium. Mm, and then we pass, so we want the full, me full metal. Drop your maxi, that's fine. Oh no. Okay. So this takes a so we can make it easily. We don't even have to use it, we could. So we fuse the eccentric and the wolf limb, right? I think. We have to be a little careful though. That's what I, I just realized. Because he has the, the guy in hand. He can pitch it for a thousand attack on this. So... That could actually be a problem. I just realized. What is the good draw? But if he pitches it, it's gone. So that's not even so bad for us. And we get something from Mithrilium, so I'm not even too worried about it. Honestly. Because we don't have two we don't have, we can't get two metal full cards in the grave yet, so we cannot prevent it anymore. Um so maybe we should have just popped it with the centric. Yeah, yeah, it would, yeah, but that's fine. Oh yeah, he's being asked because of Alastair, but I mean, I mean, the Merkaba is gonna stay around now, but the Alistair is gone, which is maybe even better for us. We'll see. We will see, and we activate painful. Uh, I'm inclined to take something. We have three off. Yeah. Yeah, I remembered the Alistair secondary effect a little too late. It's because I'm not too used to the format yet. Uh, yeah.
That's fine. I could go Tigris, attach rat, summon the third rat from the deck, but I don't see where this is going because we don't we can't make Drancer this turn anymore. So I think we should keep the rat in the deck for later. Like, what is he gonna? How is he gonna play? Like, he needs something to negate with this most of the time. Otherwise, it's useless, and we don't care as it's there. But he needs something to play as well. Like, basically, he needs rat or any zodiac plus a trap in hand to negate barrier in order to play. But then I can still fuse. So I don't think he can grind through this. <laughs> Triangle is fine. That's not a problem. Not yet, at least. I guess the summoning magic could be a problem. If he has it in hand, or another lace there. Well, mainly the reason why I'm playing a little differently than you say is because first of all the stream has a little delay and then there's the freaking time limit and I just can't always read chat before I make a play because I'm like, I'm thinking and then time runs out and stuff. So I could just call XYZ here and yeah, then I lose if this, I, no I don't lose, I could lose if it's another lace there. I could lose to another lace there. Well, not really. But I'm, I'm rather gonna wait until he XYZs with this till I flip barrier. Mm. Oh my god. Frank Z everywhere. Yoshi raid. Is Yoshi finished? Okay. I think Yoshi's finished with the Pokemon stream. <laughs> Terraforming, okay. That's fine, I think. I'm gonna chaining it now because he can't um, negate it now with. Now he doesn't have a spell in hand anymore. Oh my gosh, the viewer count, yeah. Marcus's channel is pretty big, so that's why. It's mostly Pokemon people though, so they're probably gonna not be here for long. Uh, can he make the Wind Fusion? No, right? The classical Yugi jokes, right? Shadow Realm, Exodia. It's the joke everyone makes that doesn't play Yu Gi Oh! Okay, so which fusion is he gonna summon? Because Merkaba can't get over this, so that's fine. Oh, fu fire, okay. Do we die because of that? No, right? No, we don't. 3-3 three, three here, 800 here, 1800. Oh, wow. Wait, he can pump it. 43, 1800. No, we don't die. <laughs> we, do we... Wait. Oh, we actually died to this. No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay. No, we don't. We don't. Ah. 
I literally forgot what this that this guy even existed, but it's fine. It's fine, boys. Um, so how do we do this the best? We can pop here. I mean, we can clear the board probably right easily. Yeah. So we should still be winning. I shouldn't get too out of hand with the time though. Uh, activate here. Mm -hmm. Full flame, full flame, eccentric, little bird, and draconia, whatever. Uh, here we go. We can, oh, can we win? Probably. So, eccentric pop this, mithrilium bounce this. Uh, Viper. Mm. Uh, let's just go. Um, Mithridium, maybe no, Orcox not better, right? No. There we go. This is... I can bounce and I can drance at this, right? So we win. Yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> Because Drancia is going to have 1200. We just make Tiger first. There. This game, right? Yeah. Ah, nice. It was close though. I was scared when I saw the fire fusion. I was scared. Scared AF. Okay. Let's try something else. The deck is not bad though. The Metal Foe uh, version is not bad. I, I wasn't like super convinced with it, but the last couple of games have been a lot better. The first couple of games were not that great. Does anyone know if Duel Links is good or is it really pay to win? I played it a little bit. It's like fun, but it's not like real Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like obviously not, but it's not terrible. It's like, okay. Play my Inferno at list. Oh, let me see if I still have it. Is this yours? No, it's not. You played only one of this and you didn't play the Imagination, right? I can try Inferno. It's, I don't mind. Just tell me what is different from, from your list here. You want your revenge for Bochum? Oh, you the Minerva player, yeah. Yeah, we can play if you're on Death Pro, I don't mind. You have a new list? Yeah, send me on Facebook. Wait, I'm, I'm coming online. Let's just try without imagination. Yeah, Twin Twister, not so sure if that's good. Uh, one Madness is fine, I think. 
And then what? What else? Already sent request. Where is it? I don't see. I don't have it. I don't have it. Yeah, Typhoon, Typhoon sent me t sent me the list on on Facebook. If you want to, like, if you want to keep it for yourself, that's also fine. I don't mind. Mm, I'll just try the old one then. Uh, uh, speed droids. Do you still still play speed droids in yours? No thank you. Okay, one for one. Oh, I forgot one for one. And I'm not sure about the Unishishi trap in like other decks so far. I haven't needed it in those, but we'll see. I guess. So you're running 15 Infernoids. I'm only running. 13 right now, which ones am I missing? Two and two of the big guys. Uh, oh, you're playing triple Harmadic. Because it's level three. But like... Mm, oh, you're playing the small one, okay. You don't need to trap. Yeah, I don't think so either. You play the the level two guy, which I think is fine because um, this way, if you play level two, Decatron plus Harmadic is a very good opening because you go Decatron, send level two, summon Harmadic by banishing the level two, and then you have an instant uh, Invoker, which this version still needs because I haven't updated the extra deck yet. Um, I guess yeah. Tierra can go. Yeah, this deck has a lot of extra deck space now that you cut the imagination. Mm, two, two, two emerald. Yeah, fine. Samurai. Levier, I suppose. Uh, totem bird. Break sword. Okay. Mm, I'm not sure about the uh, speed rights either. People in chat don't like them. I'm not so sure. But they're kind of good because they can also make Levier, right? Which is good in Infernoids. Second Patrulia. Patrulia is 4. Uh, I'm not so sure. No, I don't like it. Level 4 doesn't have much synergy. Like... Mm, I guess it makes Emerald in... Kago no, it doesn't make Kagutsuchi, but it makes Emerald. Uriel... Oh yeah. Uriel seems fine. Okay, Typhoon sent me the updated list. Okay. It's still 15 Infernoids. It's almost the same. It plays Void Seer. Which I'm not sure on that card. What does it do? It do? Unaffected by monster card effects. Uh, opponent's effects this turn. It's a good card. Yeah, it's a good card. So this is the list you send me right now, right? No, it's one, one less inferno actually. Only one of this. Yeah. So, 
What is the last card that I'm missing? Oh, the, the trap. I don't like the trap. I don't want to play it. I really don't want to. I, I think this is a reasonable card. In the version without lawn mowing, maybe you need it for resources. Sounds kind of nuts, right? I think. The reason why there's two Void Seers here, I think, like more than one, is because you only play one Madness, which I think is fine, because you can only resolve Madness when you have Vanishment anyways, right? Um, meaning that you're not going to search Seer with Vanishment, you're always going to search Madness, because you only play one, so you're usually not going to have it. Um, which is why... If you want to play this card and you actually want to see it, you have to draw it, which is why you're playing more than one, is the, the logic I would apply to this. So if the card is really good next format, then you'd probably play multiples. I'm not sure if it's really good. But it might be. We're just going to try it out. I, I think it's fine. I, I want to add one Omega in the extra though, because we're playing it, the tuner and I, I might be missing out on, on the option. Especially if we play like level 3s, we can send level 3, make it level 4 and infusion with any of these guys or the Padrulea. Because Omega is really good because he has synergy with like of course returning banished cards but especially with Infernoids where you can banish him and then your level on the field is lower than before. That's pretty good. So uh, do we need all 4 level rank 3 XYZs? Probably. We can try cutting breaksword for now okay you could also chain madness to seer yeah well if you draw both together without vanishment then yeah What about in the void? Searchable upstart. Oh, no, not into the void. No, no. <laughs> you. It's the searchable upstart that discards your whole hand at the end of the turn. <laughs> it's not the same, bro. <laughs> it's not the same. So, uh, yeah, let, let's just play this. Let's just see how it goes. Uh, and someone challenge me, please. Whoever wants to play. Cut Thoroughblade. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's in here, actually. Uh, I think, like, you don't need it. Um... Yeah, let's actually cut it. For what, though? <laughs> Searchable upstart in 2017, lol. Yeah. Second Viper better than one Blower Blade, one Viper. I'm not so sure about that, because they're both searchable. I'm not sure if you actually want that, but yeah. User search doesn't find me. Wait, I'll just relog. I'll relog. Uh, oh. Now I sh now it should find me. I'm now definitely logged in. Um, let's just throw an upstart in here. Whatever. We're gonna decide what's good later. An upstart is not even bad in this because we're not milling that much. Like we have Kagotsuchi, but we don't play like lawn mowing. Yeah, there we go. Uh, where is it? Infernoid forty. Let's go. Ah, rip. Counter. Yeah, it's not unplayable, but it sucks. Okay. I mean, zoos and speed droids are fine to hit with Monster Gate, but Maxi is a horrible outcome. And he's also doing it the other way around. Like, I wonder why people do this. Like, I did it at first, in the first stream, but as soon as someone told me how to do it differently, I don't get why you would do it this way. Like, I really don't understand. Is there any advantage? Like, 
like what is the point of doing this instead of just going bullhorn first it's so much worse against maxi yeah i don't think there's an advantage Like, how do they do it in the OCG? Do they also do it this way? Or do it, it's just like, yeah, why? Why is this like the established version of the combo? Yeah, this version is weaker to some, oh. Wait, how did this get there? Oh yeah, it's foolish, okay. I thought that was like, uh, rip Yoshi, okay. See ya, man. <laughs> okay, Notoria Beast, not so bad. Not so bad for us. Uh, in general, I've seen a couple of builds running Notoria Beast, and I really don't think that that's going to be a good way to do it, just because of how weak Notoria Beast is going to be next turn, uh, next format. Like, sure, it doesn't lose to Slumber, but... Um, it doesn't lose to slumber, but the slumber version still has like four kaijus in it to out it. And like, it's just not very good. Oh god, this hand, this hand's horrible. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Our hand was pretty bad anyways. They built tower in the OCG? What do you mean they built tower? You mean they make all the XYZs first? The correct way? Okay, so the OCG does it the correct way. Yeah, there's no reason not to do it this way. I don't like. This time we have a playable hand, a <laughs> really good hand. Rip. Please, no vanity fiend. I cry if he has vanity fiend. Okay. We keep opening crappy burial. Like, why? Mirror Force in twenty seventeen, wow. Okay. I wonder why this mirror force. Yeah, it should be Nico. I think so. Beatrice, yes, no, no. Okay. Scarm search. So I wonder what that back row is. Is he running discard traps, fragrance strikes, barriers, something? We never have the freaking Void Madness Searcher, Imagination, we never have it. Is it Imagination? No, it's not. Oh, whatever. The one that searches <laughs> Imagination, but that's fine. Um, so Teratop is good here, even though it is a little weak to Barrier, but that's fine. I suppose... Joshua, what are you planning to play in Prague? I'm not so sure yet. Probably some Zodiac version, but I don't know which one yet.
Yeah, he added a Burning Abyss, so it's likely he has a discard trap. That's true. Oh, he could also play Dynamiscus. Yeah, that's kind of cool that they do that now. I've seen uh, I, someone topped um, CCG Major Tour Stop Amsterdam with a BA with Dynamiscus in it instead of like Wing Blast and stuff. So I guess it's it's a valid card. Um, we could go Totem Bird to protect our other plays. Um, but it doesn't seem worth. We just go. We just go Decatron. Send something. Harmadic. Oh, I didn't put Invoker in, right? I forgot. Uh, yeah, Omega. Don't XYZ summon yet? Why? It's too late. I'm committed. Normal Deka and send Fatulia first. Well, it's too late now. I'm committed. It's the kind of things that when I'm playing a tournament, I'll, I'll think about before I do a play. But like when playing on Death Row, you can just try different stuff. That's fine. Send Patra first, so you can still summon Omega. But I think I don't have Omega anymore. In this, I, I don't put. I didn't put Omega. Oh, I did put Omega in. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough then. Okay, so how do we go about this? I'm pretty sure we normal Decatron. Uh, what does the level four do? Patrulea is the level four, right? So he calls X Y Z. That's fine. So we go Decatron, right? Okay. Oh, he pops a spell trap. That's perfect. And that's really good. We send it, then we summon. Then this, what does this do? Destroys a monster. Okay. Who is the guy that bounces a monster? Is that the level 2 that bounces a monster? Uh, Patrulea, yeah, go. Um, so I can? Okay. Just try and pop something. Then I can summon Harmadig, make Omega. I guess he has a discard trap, so Omega won't be that good. Chalice, alright. Mm. Antra bounces, okay, which one's Antra? Level 1? thing is even with a discard trap like he he gets rid of omega i activate one for one pitch diviati summon another decatron then i have enough to summon diviati then i have burial to put everything back i banish for diviati and barrier backup so i just win so yeah uh, i'm trying to level two yeah okay hey we have maxi again we also have target and work though <laughs> so much change. Yeah, makes a good, good card. Our hand is a brick, though. Never vanishment. Oh, does he not summon? Or does he still go Dante? He could just pal. Okay. Ah, there's the wrap. Okay. 
Well, the rat is our only play right here, I think. We can go Harmadic first, but this can only no, it can only pop monsters, so that's not really good. Okay. Uh, we don't play the trap, so we don't use it. It's still better the normal way here, probably. Just try the normal combo, even though it could waste some resources. Like, how likely is it that this is maxi? Whereas this is very likely to be barrier, so I shouldn't waste that many resources actually. Yeah. I'll strike. Yeah, same result. I just keep it the bullhorn in the extra deck now. That's fine. So the question is now: Do I go off in some way here? Like I can, I can just go Harmadic attack. Cause, yeah, why not? I could just go Harmadic attack. I could also summon one of these two. Uh. We just got a sword that can make a second attack and this banishes something at the end of the battle phase right mm -hmm. like I could just summon this attack the rhino but then you can all like oh, I think harmatic is fine yeah that's why like the other BA dies anyways when I attack the Rhino. That's why Sight Simos is not that great. Yeah. I don't like Saitsimas, it's so resource intensive to summon Saitsimas. Graph. And now next turn I'm just gonna drop Maxi again. Um and maybe my maybe my Harmadic can survive. And then I can make a rank three with these. We'll see. Uh, I won't just immediately discard it though, there's no point. So. Let's see if he waits another turn. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, the thing is, like, if we had a good hand, like, our hand was bad, but it would have been even worse in other decks, I think. Like, standard zoo, like, we had no tri- we play triangles, we play everything that they play. How good is BA in next format? I don't think it's very good. I mean, I think it's, it does okay against pure Zodiac, because Beatrice is very good against Slumber, but not very good against- uh, oh, he just- he just ends? Okay, nice. We do get a rank 3 now. Mm. We get a rank 3. And then we can still summon sites in us afterwards. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think it was correct there to... To just pass, he should have gone for an XYZ and attacked over the, the level 3. Yeah, normal summon to get him work and win. 
Why don't you play lawn? I think the lawn mowing version is just worse against like on average sure opening lawn is great but you don't open it very often you play 60 cards like yeah two cyclone oh yeah well yeah bad hand yeah true sure i mean mine wasn't that sick either but it was better than you i always open burial like i never just draw into it when like mid game i need resources i'm like yeah burial now no, open it. Uh, no effect. Once again, we have <laughs> Barrier Maxi Rat, which is like. It has nothing to do with which deck you're playing, it's just good in every single deck. Question here is I think. No, the question is do we go. Um, Emerald in the end or Kagotsuchi? I think with this hand we go Kagotsuchi. I think when you have the the, the, the search for for triangle already. No, not triangle. When you have the, the search for madness already, you can go for You can go for Emerald, because then you don't need to set up your graveyard. See he has Maxi and like we get the search for free here because we do it this way. Hawk jump. Viper. It's free Viper guys, free Viper. Unfortunately, there will be no Kagutsuji, but that's fine. So we have Barrier Maxi Drancia, so have fun playing through that, my boy. Now he goes Night Beam Slumber OTK, easy. Oh, Kaiju, okay. Do you expect the list to be dropped? It's really hard to say right now. Like it's impossible to predict. Because we haven't had this situation like ever before. Like five, five months I think is it now without a ban list. It's like super weird situation. Um, I'm a little bit afraid of a move he can make here, which is summon Drancia, then use Drancia to activate the effect to summon that, and then I wanna I want a barrier, but then he can chain Drancia to barrier, which I think he's doing, which is good play I think. But um, if he does that now, I just maxi and I don't barrier. Because I can still bury it later. Oh, what? He went for the destruction effect. I don't get it. Yeah. Well, then I bury it. Therefore, yeah, well, he did he did the wrong effect. I think he wanted to do the other one, but well, we had Maxi anyways, and <laughs> pure Zodiac boys, just pass. All right. No, oh, no, oh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, how many rats are gone? We have one more. Okay. Oh, we 
don't even have anything to search for this, right? So we, yeah, that was wasted. But yeah, he, he okay. This one is over. It's over, boys. It's kind of annoying that this blocks our uh, infernoids. I just realized. I just realized that. But okay. I don't know, I feel like Infernoid, if it gets going, it's like the strongest deck. If if it gets going, we'll have to figure out how big the chance of that happening is. Like But we'll see, I don't know. Um Yeah. Infernoid this is a pretty good deck, I think. You can pop the kaiju with Transa, yeah, but it's kind of a weird move to do, right? You pop like a 33 beater just to summon a, like, 3000 beater, it's weird. But it works, you know, that's right, it's correct. It does work. You could also book it. If you ran Book of Moon, you could just book it. Honestly, so far, the Seer has been kind of irrelevant. But, well, like I never really needed it. That's what I'm trying to say. Like I didn't have it, obviously, but I never really missed it either. But <laughs> the audience way of life. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, we lost. Okay, that was a good hand. Yeah, of course, I didn't draw it, but, like, I never missed it. But it's not bad. You, you're right about that. Try out Instant Fusion. Well, what does Instant Fusion really do? Like, give me, give me something that you really want to do with Instant Fusion. But you're right that Instant Fusion is really good for... Um, in general, for Zodiac combos. Because, like, it, it, it helps you a lot to play around Drancia. Like, you summon Rat. Then you put an XYZ over it and they pop it with Drancia. You, you can just Instant Fusion back the Rat. It's really good. Make one card Omega with what? I don't have a level 4 tuner. Oh, he's playing Metal Foe. And he's opening it pretty well, so that's interesting. Let's see what he does. He also didn't do the combo perfectly, right? Because he, he 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 activated once with Tigris, right? Yeah. Should you just activate the first time with Bullhorn and then you put Drancia over Bullhorn and then you activate? That's the least draws you give to Maxi, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Deka is tuner, but uh, it's level one. It's negated when you summon it with Norden. You can't make it level 4. Deka can't send if you... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, scales. You have good scales. What are you going to do about it? Oh, Fox. Dangerous. Ooh. So it's not my uh, metal foes, it's my respecters. That's interesting. Cyclone is pop a monster, right? Yeah. Which trap? Tempest, okay. Well, that's bad.
Well, someone foiled. Let me see it. Energy replay. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, this is a good draw. Helps us play through back row. Uh, I want to start with one for one. What does this do? Monster destroy it. Okay. Well. I think I sent Patrulea here, so I can force the back row. Yeah. Death Pro, Savage, Psycho. Okay. It destroys, right? It doesn't banish? Yeah. So what do we have right here? It pops. It's all spell trap cards. So if we can resolve that, that'd be broken. And another follow from Yiga Fox. Alright. Uh, I don't want to summon it yet though, because he has Tempest. I'm normal summoning Rat. Uh, and here, this is where I would not go for the full combo, because you're grinding through back row. And stuff like that. It's not just maxi and stuff that you're worrying about. Like here, I'm gonna summon Wild Bow, and I'm gonna immediately use the effect if he lets me do that. He probably won't, but he might. Right. The goal of all this is basically force the Tempest somehow, and the Drancia, of course, and then resolve Deviadi to pop both scales. Okay, Drancia is forced. Eh. Now we summon Tigers. Wouldn't have normal summon the rat, why not? I think this was fine. We could have also summoned the Decatron, but we only play one Patrulea, so I think it was okay this way. Tempest. And now we can Patrulia, right? <laughs> uh, not Patrulia. Divide. Yeah. Brave, brave. And what do I attack? Emerald? He doesn't have enough targets for Emerald, right? Oh, he does have. If I attack this, he has enough targets for Emerald. But this, if I don't attack this, he can go for all the combos.
We'll see. It, it, yeah, maybe summoning Decatron was better in the end, but it, we, we would just, yeah, we would have more. We would have more Infernoids in play this way, and we would have a Rat in hand. I don't know what's better though. Tigress. I think we have to negate anyways, but we would have negated the Emerald too. Um, yeah. I hope he doesn't have scales. That's basically the moral of the story here. If he doesn't have scales, we can win. If he has scales, we probably can't. But that he, now that he drew the Bunbuku, he probably has scales because he can juice whichever he needs. Bunbuku, oh yeah, that means he has scales, right? Mm -hmm. Which means he's gonna get another trap. Okay, but only one trap. Maybe we can get through. Uh, we have. Oh, we only have one. Okay. Feels bad, man. Yeah, double Bunbuku though. Like, why did he have double? Oh, he drew one with Emerald and then drew one for turn. Okay. Because if we had Emerald, if he had Bunbuku turn one, he would have played it, of course. But now, yeah, he drew one with Emerald and he drew one for turn. Oh, he searched Bunbuku. Okay. okay, okay. You are dead. No, I'm not dead. If he plays Trapeze and Acid Golem, yeah, but nobody plays Trapeze and Acid Golem, man. Calm yourself. Oh, yeah, it's gonna have double trap because he has the Toad as well. That's broken, man. I don't think I can beat Tornado and Tempest, even with a top deck. Like, what is the best draw I can have? There's Triangle, Triangle and Terra Top. Those are the two draws. And Burial. Burial is pretty good. Well, now Burial and Triangle aren't good anymore. Uh, now I need Terra Top to have. But I don't have a chance even with Terratop. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I even got the triangle. Such a good draw, actually. Like, nor in normal circumstances, it would have been such a good draw. Well. Fine though, it's a really hard matchup when he goes first, right? Either way, because we don't have back row removal. If we had a Twin Twisters, it would be easy, right? Which, Twin Twister might be good in this deck. It might be. It might not be though, because Barrier. He Tempests. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Oh man. Yeah. Rip. How should I side into Twin Twisters? <laughs> hey, we have it. Finally, we have it. Jesus Christ. Okay, so how do we do this? We just summon Rat, right? See if he has Maxi. We don't have to use this this turn. No.
Um, So we're gonna Emerald here because we have the Vanishment. But I wanna search first, right? Before I shuffle in and draw because I don't wanna draw Madness. Well, if I draw Madness, I can search Seer. So that's actually fine. So yeah, yeah, I changed my mind. I like it. Mm. Momorat, Momorat, and I think Wild Bow because we run double Tigress in this. We don't need another Tigress. Like, we have one more anyways. So I'd rather have the Wild Bow. Terra Top now is a little late, but we could potentially have a good follow-up play with it. Um, no, um. You think next format is a good format? I think it's, it's going to be okay, yeah? Okay, yeah, okay, he surrenders. I was actually not so sure if I th I clicked on the t triangle too fast. I'm probably discarding divide is probably better, right? But now he's gonna get to go first, and that is pretty bad for us if he combos as well as last time. Okay, he scales two. A pendulum summon, so there's no Bonbuku, that's the good news. Unless he has, he wants to s normal summon Kirin. One trap. Okay, only one trap. I can play through, I have Terra Top plus Momorant. That's good. Unless he sets two. Like if he drew one trap, which is likely, yeah, it's likely in his deck, but uh, it's okay. Like, he summons Bonbuku, we just call Pendulum on Barrier next turn, that's okay. Siete. Well, mm, special summon in defense. We can't run over anything, anyways. Effects. He should let it resolve. There's no. no you never. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I opened the Burial like every damn game. Like, I've drawn Burial like five times. Like, five more, five times more often than I drew freaking Void Vanishment. Ah, Barrier. Can this be Normal Summon? Oh god, it can't. Fuck. Well, rip boys. Well, Barrier is still good next turn. We, we're gonna get to next turn. The problem is how do we play through Tempest with this hand? Because he has Tempest still face down. How, how are we playing through Tempest? If I normal Viper kills Viper and Terra top with Bumbuku and Fox. Takeda Mbok survives, but that doesn't do anything. If I just pass the two die and have Viper in hand, that doesn't do anything. I need to top deck against to out the. I guess if I if I set this, yeah. If I set this. This keeps. This is gonna be on the field. Um, 
which means I have more outs in my deck to draw because I can draw like Harmatic and summon it by banishing this. Oh wow, oh wow, I forgot about that, but then it doesn't matter, we have to call Pendulum, otherwise we just die. But yeah, that's broken. Yeah, we lose this. We lose it anyways, unless we top deck in normal circumstances. I mean, this doesn't even change that much, like he won't kill us, I think, he won't kill us. He will kill our board and have a Drancia in the end though, so I have to like top deck the way to play through Drancia and... Tempest like I was assuming he was gonna make totem bird I don't know why I, I thought that but you know and he keeps he keeps doing it differently like if he's in if you're in chat just tell me why you're detaching from the tigress here like what's the point because I don't get it I don't see it it's just worse against maxi right I mean at this point you know I don't have maxi but it's also weaker against ghost ogre because if I ghost ogre the bullhorn you can still search. You, you can, you know. Well, I don't know. Yeah, for real. I mean, I don't think Buried is necessary, honestly. Like, when have we ever really needed it? It's always just kind of like a backup. But when you when you can't even play, you don't need a backup. Like, it doesn't help you unbreak anything or something. I think we should cut it. Like, if this was a playable card, it would be pretty good. Like, the hand would have been decent. I mean, the barrier wreck. The, there's like one of the hands where barrier was really good against me because I had Terra Top plus Rat, like, to basically two Zodiac engine cards and no Infernoid cards except for one. It's like, it's. Oh, I actually had three Zodiacs. I had three Zodiacs, Burial, and an Infernoid Death Draw. Like, of course, in that hand, yeah, barrier hurts a lot. I don't think we have a top deck out of this because there's gonna be Drancia plus Drancia plus Tempest plus maybe another trap. Well, he has only one Magic Spectre right now. Take out really? Yeah, I will probably. I will. Okay. So what would we? What can we draw? Even can we draw anything? I don't think so. Like one for one, we could draw one for one. That'd be pretty good. One for one, but it's only it only works if he uses. Oh. No, we can't. We To be fair though, do we die next turn? I mean, the, we don't die I think, but we can't prevent him from searching more traps. So we're gonna have the same problem next turn, so we can't win, okay. GG's. Yeah, I mean, without siding, going in second against that deck is pretty hard. Let's take this out. I also, I'm also pretty sure that two of this is wrong. Like I can see running one just in case you want to search it in some situations, but it really doesn't help you unbreak or anything. Like those are two cards I would, I can see taking out. For what though? Okay, you ha I knew you had no maxi because of Invoker, so I played around Ghost Ogre. Yeah, okay. Does it play around Ghost Ogre, though? Like, why is it better against Ghost Ogre? Oh, because you haven't summoned all of them yet. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Because if you summon multiples first and then I Ghost Ogre, you can only summon Drancia for the rest of the turn. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, fair enough. Why don't you play the fusion cards for Infernoid? Uh, I'm not sure on them yet. Maybe they are the solution to this. Maybe they are what we add here at this point. Let me read them again. Uh, it's called Void Imagination, right? Uh, if I want to, to, uh, I don't know. It's a good card. Especially helps going second. Let's put them in. Let's see. We need Tierra. I don't think we're gonna need the samurai very often. The thing is, we don't have the elder entity uh, or whatever you call it. Uh, this one, we don't have it. They play it in the OCG, which is it's really good with Tierra. Because uh, when it's sent from the extra deck to the graveyard, you can destroy a card on the field. So basically what you do with this, you let your opponent send three cards from the extra deck to the graveyard and you send him three times. And then you you just like pop three cards as well. Is it really okay to play just one madness? I think it is because you don't want to draw madness. If you draw madness without, without another void spell trap, it's completely dead. So the way you want to do it is activate vanishment and surge madness and then send vanishment to the grip. If we play three of this, maybe we can play more madness because we can we can have this as well in our hand to discard it with madness. That could be fair enough. So maybe the solution is to take some other stuff out and play multiple madness because madness is a pretty broken opening, right? It's complicated to build Inferno, it's, it's really complicated. You can discard Madness for Madness, yeah that's true. I, th I think if you play Imagination, you can play multiple madness because then you have like a very high number of mat of void spell and traps, and you'd only side imagination going second. Yeah, but then if you don't have if you don't play imagination at all, uh, I don't think you should play multiple madness either main deck, because let's say I cut three imaginations and I play three madness, um, I only have seven void traps, and if I if I draw Madness, like basically it's, I need two cards out of seven, otherwise Madness is a complete brick. Which is weird, like, yeah. Imagination is not always bad because it has the effect of making your Infernoids level one. It's hard to balance this deck between like consistency and other stuff you know like going off and I don't know like how many zodiac cards do you need for example is a question like I, I for example think you should probably play a second viper or a thorough blade in decks with three triangles because you run out of targets like you do your if you do your first turn rat combo and search viper you have no more target for triangle like literally no more Maybe tankies? Ah, tankies, no. Just play one imagination? Yeah, one imagination could be fine, because you can search it going second when madness is too slow, right? I kind of like that idea. Mm -hmm. And then one more zodiac, like a thoroughblade or a... Um, Mm 
like this. It's very interesting deck, I think. It's very like complicated. I like that. I think if you can find a good build for Infernoids, it can be top contender. But he needs work. He needs a lot of work, I think. Mage Nation doesn't really help to break boards though, because Tierra is level 11. Yeah, well... Well, you can still, it's, it's better than like scooping, like the last couple of games, you know, like you just play your, your stuff and then if it doesn't, if it's not enough, you just go for Tierra and Tierra is huge and it fills up your graveyard for the, for later turn. So if they deal with Tierra, then you, you win on the next turn by bringing back everything. I'm also not sure if running one side Simos is correct. I kind of want more of it. Cause it's the it's like the only big one, or like this one can also. St okay, these two are the only ones that you can like bring back from grave and then bring back another one from grave because they're level six or seven. All like the other ones are level eight or ten. So if you bring back one of them, you can't bring back any others afterwards. I don't know if that matters though. You'll show the Infernoid Goo? Okay, yeah, let's play. I, I I can just play another deck. You can play Infernoids. I'll just play... I don't want to play something like Windwitch Eidolon, because that's like so restricted. Well, I could play Windwitch Eidolon. Yeah, why not? We haven't played that in a long time. And, and Scythe is not even that unfair against you, so that's fine, I think. So what's your what's your name on on Death Pro? So I know when you challenge me. I'm talking to zero 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 high, by the way. Oh, you can still summon with level eight on board. Really? I thought you could only. Uh, I thought you couldn't. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, you play? Okay, uh, if you want me to play something for, for Seattle format, that's also fine. Then I'll play something else. Uh, I can play Paleozoic. Yeah, okay, let's play Paleozoic. Okay. Okay, I'll play Paleozoic. What is your death pro name? Brandon Wong? Okay, challenge me. Or can I? Yeah, well, let's see. Uh, where do I? Uh, oh, I think we're disconnected again because we took so long. Okay. Yeah. Okay. to test the matchup anyways, the Palio Infernoid matchup. The question here in Palio Zoics, I'm pretty sure I go for Kagutsuchi. Um, because I play the trap. If I wouldn't play the trap, I would go for. I would go for. Emerald.
What do you think of Bujin de Kagosuchi and Bujin Hiroko in Paleo to pull off Tsukuyomi? Well, it would be good, but we don't have Hiroko, so doesn't matter. And I think we go Kagosuchi here because we have we can recycle anyways. However, ah. Uh, Yeah. Uh, Emerald is so solid though. Emerald is so solid. Yeah, let's go Emerald. No, I think. Because I can just flip a Morella and then I have a trap in the grave anyways. I don't need... Oh, I didn't detach the Mormorat. That was a mistake. Well, maybe it wasn't because I only played one of each XYZ. Oh, Maxi Nestor, okay. Oh, come on. said Infernoids, that's a far far. He didn't even summon an attack, he would have forced Drance, yeah? In theory. Well, okay, yeah, okay. Let's do another one. I want to see what your deck does, not what mine does. I'll play something else that doesn't play that much back row, so it's not that unfair. So how do I... I don't know how you do. I think. Whatever. So, what are we gonna play? We can just play a mirror match. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, let's just play it one game at a time. It doesn't matter. change it in settings before you request but whatever let's just play it's fine um yeah okay you won't play bewildering wins in paleo will you well i don't know the card let me google it Target one face of special summon monster on the field has its effect negated. Also, have its original DK. Mm -hmm. If your opponent special summons a monster from the extra deck while discarding your graveyard, you can set this card but banish it when it leaves the field. It's not bad. Like, it's actually not bad. It's pretty good. Um, can you activate it immediately after you set it with its effect? That's important. Like, if you can do that, then it's really good. For anyone who doesn't know what he's talking about, this is the card he was asking about. This comes out in Raging Tempest. You can't? Oh. Yeah, it's a trap, I know. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. I was just making sure. Because if, if it actually could for some reason, then it would be really good. But it's still not bad, honestly. It's not bad. You could play it. I'm thinking if it's better than Breakthrough, but I'm not sure. So he he goes for the combo and he decides to make Kagosuchi in the end and he hits three Inferno. He's also interesting, in, interestingly enough, he's playing Burning Abyss monsters, which they can make Dante and uh, Invoker, so that's interesting. Oh, he pops Invoker, why? Wait. Oh, they also count ranks, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. For some reason I thought they only counted for levels on the board, but they also count ranks. Yeah, that's why you played, like, Pearl in it and stuff, but okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He needs space for levels. I got it, I got it. Skarm search tour guide, nice. Okay. Oh! cool thing is he doesn't have material under this which he has viper but that means he will he will play with one less card in hand we have to keep it in mind though i'm summoning an attack because of barrier like when he barriers i can still attack the freaking guns yeah uh, this one will be summoned in defense though what can he negate most effect okay Oh, I can negate my Decatron, that's gonna hurt. I want to summon Harma Dig first because if I XYZ, he's just gonna pop it. But like he's gonna attach Viper, pop it. Then I summon Decatron, he negates, and then what I do? What do I do? Now I can force the Diviati or Jansia. Yeah. 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 He's just gonna pop the Harma deck here. Will he? Probably. I mean. Yeah. Pop the Harma deck. Now, the question is do I go Invoker first? He negates it, and then I go Decatron? No, right? I go Decatron first. I think. I think I go Decatron first. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now we have to hope that this back row is like what? A dead white madness? And a bluff, a triangle or something. It could be triangle, it's a very like you can't always assume they have barrier because statistically they won't always open it, but if he has it we're certainly screwed. Which is why we don't even need to summon in defense because if he has barrier we lose anyways, so that's fine. Basically the plan is go for stuff and then Kagotsuchi. Hit some infernoids, 
summon Unanku, blow up the field or something. We'll see if he can he can beat him. Mm -hmm. No response so far. He did mill a ghost ogre though, so he just play that. So we detach from this. It looks like it's going through. Definitely doesn't have barrier. Hit one Infernoi, that's so weak. Oh, I didn't search yet. Oh, that was stupid. I should have searched the Viper first. I was lucky that I didn't like mill it. That was so stupid. can attach it to Kagutsuchi, it's kind of cool. It's like indestructible and banish everything. But I won't. I'll attach it to Drancia. Here. Uh, no, not yet. Uh, I'll pop this. Rip. Could have attached it to this, but now I can summon something in Main Fist 2, that was the plan. Like, you can summon Onanku. No, I can't. Which one Which one can I summon? Otondo. Is that worth? I think it's good because it... I can banish stuff from his graveyard. Yeah, let's do that. Let's play for this. Once per turn, right? Yeah. So there's Diviati. Oh, that's it. There's only Diviati. Okay. Well, rip Diviati then. It's kind of cute. So these are probably really a triangle and a dead madness. Oh, it's all Twin Twister. Okay. Well. That's okay though, like, depending, of, of course, I don't think the, the barrier was that good against him anyways. Let me see, he, he top, oh he has tour guide, oh he has tour guide. He has tour guide, but what does he do with it? Like tour guide, all his, all his stuff is gone. I guess Dante, still broken. But he has no Infernoids, and I have a ton though, so he has to mill really well. We'll see. It's winnable, but it's very hard because we are also out of gas. Like, we don't have Infernoids in Graver. Okay, let's see what he did. He hit one Infernoid in Graf, which is bad because he can go for Sir. 
if he still has it. Yeah, he does. He can go Graf, sir. Well, we can atondle away the target for sir anyways, but that's fine. But Sir. The question is do we banish this? I think I think we have to. Well, which rank 3? Like what rank 3 bothers us? I mean, he can make another Dante. Yeah, no, we can't let him make another Dante. BA, that's unfortunate as fuck. Drew a BA. Like, ah. Let me draw imagination one time. Go, imagination. Can you draw imagination? Come on. No. No. Oh, do I have targets? No. Did I put in the thorough blade? Let me see. Where is it? Uh, infinite 40. Oh, the thorough blade is in there. Okay. That's not so bad. Mm. What did he search? Rubik, well, Rubik is okay. I wonder if he plays. I wonder if he has room to play Dante, the the fusion in his extra deck. I mean, we have to attack first, otherwise we just get far fought. If this really is a triangle, then I think it was a mistake to fake set it turn one because um, I have to hope he doesn't have the fusion or doesn't run the fusion. Oh, I could have attacked again. I forgot to activate it. Shit. I thought it was asking me for the banish effect, but yeah, I would have doubled, right? But that, what does it do? It let's me discard one, yeah. So I should have set this and attacked. That would have been the play. Okay. Well. We lose. I think. But to be honest, just for the fact that he opened really well and went first, the game was pretty close. Okay, Twin Twister. Yeah, because his back row was double Twin Twister, obviously, so... Not that great. Can he kill us, even? Probably not. Not yet. Not for sure, at least. And he's low on resources, so maybe. Maybe there's a way. But we're, <laughs> we're also low, low on resources. We're out, basically. Out of resources. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Nope. Nope. Let's see what he does. Cause if he, if he like wants to push some damage this turn, can he kill us? For sure.
let me see if I have to trade you. There is one side Simos. There's only one side. Oh, there's a Decatron, so he can bring back the side Simos if he has any Infernoid in hand. So I have to chain right because I die otherwise, and just hope I top deck. Should have set triangle. Yeah, I should have set triangle. Oh, we survive. What can we draw? I mean, he doesn't have. Ah. Rip. If we had one monster in hand, that would be a really good top deck, but we don't. Oh, we could have drawn the freaking imagination still. We could have still won with imagination. Okay. Yeah, well. To be fair though, if we didn't mill complete garbage with uh, Kagotsushi, like we milled these four and one Infernoid. Like if we milled more Infernoids, we would still be in this. But we didn't. Okay. GG's. Um, well, can you play pure zoo next? I don't know if we will, if I'm going to stream much longer. We can make one more game with pure zoo if you want, but then I'm probably going to end because we've almost, it's almost midnight here. Um, but I just want to talk about the, the Inferno deck a little bit. Um, Mills decided to game low, good format. Well, I'm still not sure if the format is good or not. It could be really good because I feel like as like Zodiac is really good and really broken, but I don't think that it's so unfair that it like makes the format bad. Cuz it's not like the power level of it is still not that high, right? It's like you get a free rank 4 and a Drancia, which is like really good, but on the other hand, it's also only like 1800 damage. Um, it only really OTKs if you have like Rat plus Slumber, right? And the the engine is very weak to to Barrier and everything, and weak, weak to Maxi, and so it's it kind of balances out. So maybe the format can be okay. We'll see. I still haven't found a solution for it though. But to be fair, literally the only games I've played. In this format so far have been what you've been seeing on stream like not only today but like the for the last couple like what was it like two weeks now where I've been streaming like four or five times that's the only times I've actually played this format but I've learned a lot so it's fine do you think you have to play Zeus or summoner by summoner you mean Eidolon right but yeah um, probably Probably is the answer, unless there comes a really, really unique deck that somehow beats Zodiac. Because Zodiac is not unbeatable. Because, like I said, they they are very limited in their options because they rely on their one zoo rat play, and afterwards there's not much they do. So, like, they are counterable. So I still haven't figured out the format completely, like if a YCS was coming very soon I wouldn't know what the best deck was, which you should know what the best deck is when a YCS is coming, but we have two months until proc so I'm pretty sure I'll figure it out. But yeah, let's let's just play one more game with pure, you know what, let's just play a random guy on death pro ladder, we, we, do, we don't do that very often. Uh, where is pure zodiac here? Let me just quickly look at the version. Oh, it has it still has sanctums in it. Oh, it has tensors. Fuck tensors. Let's play speed rates again. Even though I still don't like that, like you play so many starters in these, 
but then once you've done the combo, all of these cards become so much worse. Like, Triangle after you've already comboed is weird. Terror Top after you've comboed is very weird. All these after you've comboed are super weird. Tanky is weird. It's like all the cards. <sighs> I don't know. I, I feel like Pure just doesn't, like... If you don't OTK, what do you do? Like, how do you, like, win? Yeah, we can play instance, but they don't change that, like... Like, you could instant for Emerald or for something else, it's not gonna win you the game. But we can play instance. We have a dual request. Okay, let's play him instead. It's also fine. All right, last last game for the night. Donza Luke eighty four. Thanks for the follow. Okay. Um, I think we go for the combo here. Another another theory that I have, or another idea that I have, is that I still think that Tanky might be better than Terratop because normal summoning is so much better than other ways to get Rat into play because of Maxi and stuff. But um, on the other hand, like Tanky doesn't help you to push through back row going second or Drancia, whereas Triangle and Terratop they do. So I still gotta figure it out. Ah, here's Maxi, that's why I'm waiting. Good order rewarded. Wait, uh, maybe it was better to put it here, but. I was too late, I couldn't took it, take it back. Maybe I shouldn't have said both actually, that might have been stupid. I don't have to do barrier, right? Um, in case he... Uh, in case he plays Chalice, I guess I'm gonna call Fusion. I don't wanna call XYZ because I have Drancia. Yeah? He can banish it though. Right? He can just banish Drancia anyways. 
<sighs> so maybe I just call X Y Z. Nah. I, 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 I we know he's playing Inferno, so. But yeah, we should not have said both. That was kind of stupid, right? Because it's redundant. Like the if I if I have Sanctum. Um, what is he doing? Like he, he can't summon anything that I have to bear. He could be Pendulum, like Wunbuku, whatever. I don't know. Well, maybe. I don't know how common Twin Twister is. So. So Decatron sends Sightsimas. Decatron effect banish. Right? Ah, oh, that's that's crucial. I can't chain it, right? I don't have enough. Ah, oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's really good for him. Sad. Uh, and that's the big advantage of it. Like every other zodiac, I would have just killed with this opening, but this one, like, it's not. So he's gonna attack, and he's gonna be able to banish this, right? Uh, damn. I mean, we're not out of it. We just slumber plus normal viper, but we can't recycle anymore. That's super bad. Depending on his hand, the game's gonna be close. But it was like he had far far twin twist, so that was really unlikely. Like really unlikely to have it. But he had it. Oh we get Drantia back, I forgot. Yeah. Oh that makes slumber worse though. Ooh. Okay. No, actually, this makes slumber better. Because if we if we didn't have this, he could just sight some us away, and then we wouldn't get anything from slumber. So we just slumber. Player side, uh, this. So, one rat banished. That's fine. We still have one more here. So, how do we go about this? We summon Viper. We make Tigress. We attach Rat from Grave. We. Summon one from the deck. Then we instant fusion into Emerald. Detach. I'm trying to think if there's a way we can summon one, then detach one, shuffle it back into the deck so we can summon two in total. Yeah, we can, I think. Um. can just kill him yeah well yeah fair enough yeah you're right of course yeah
Yeah. I'm just saying we could have done this. We could have emerald, detach rat, shuffle rat back in and then resolve it another time, but we don't have to. the power of pure oh he, he put it too much oh yeah, nice try <laughs> okay I guess I'm gonna do another one ah, good hand though really good hand Dante, okay, no. So he probably has rat, which means he shouldn't mill first. Yeah, okay. Let's see how he's doing it. When do I go with Stoker? <laughs> On Tigers, right? I think. It doesn't really make a big difference. Kaiju on Drancia. I hope he doesn't have Beatrice, that'd be annoying. How like Terra Top Rat is a pretty good opening in his deck. Don't milk three infernals. Oh god. Oh god, there's a tour guide at least. And the dead sir. Okay, that was that was actually a good mill for me because it kills some resources, I think. So you milled the Viety, that's the only okay. Please no Please no BA, okay. And also no back, oh, that was pretty good. Okay. I can live with that. The question is, do I summon my kaiju first so I can run over Dante in case of Maxi? <laughs> I think so. The most annoying thing is that I don't even feel good about having Barrier Sanctum because it's, it's Inferno, it's, it won't be good. Oh wow. Okay. Terror top. Rat ghost dogger is pretty strong opening. I don't know if I should send this right now. I can't use it anyways, but I guess so. Hope he had, we have to hope he has a brick here, basically, which is which it's likely for him to have a brick, honestly. I'm gonna set both because I want him to Twin Twister. Twin Twister is actually good for me, because I get to destroy the Kaiju with 
Sanctum. Should have played around Ogre. Well, but how do I really play around Ogre very well? I guess, yeah, I guess, yeah. If I just, yeah. You're right. But then why do I play... Um, why do I even play the trap if I never do it? I don't know. Um, how much is Scythe? 22, right? Let me check quickly. Scythe is 22. I wasn't sure if it was 22 or 21. If it's 22, I think I should change Sanctum here. Because I don't want him to make Beatrice, that's all. I guess, yeah, that's the only reason I think he's doing this. Because Beatrice would wreck me. So. And, I mean, Barrier does basically the same. Oh, I should have just barriered. I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm stupid. Okay. Well. Oh, that's good. Do I go Bullhorn first? Well, I go Wild Bull first. I guess going into Bullhorn first um, means I play around the second ogre. Uh, yeah, right. Because I can still. Because now if you ogres, I, I, I at least have the threat. The question is, can I win somehow? Drancia, pop this. Attack banish. Yeah, right? It's a game. Pretty sure it's game, if I'm not miscounting. I, just, I don't even have to. I have to go samurai still, right? Oh, yeah. There, activate there, attack there, banish it, and kill. Rip. Well, pure zodiac does have some advantages overall. It's pretty consistent. Slumber, pretty good card. Detached wrong one? No, I detached the right one, I think. Or which one do you mean? When I detached from... I had to detach Rat because I had to summon... I, I needed to keep the effect of Rat. Okay, 
Uh, well, he tricked me into playing two games because he put it to match, even though I only wanted to play one game, but... Alright. Um, so yeah, I mean, the deck did pretty well. We did draw well, though, but whatever. Um, it's very good. Pure is very good. Slumber is degenerate, yeah, that's true. Um, anyways, thanks everyone for watching today. I think uh, Marcelo is going to stream tomorrow for the first time, so tune in when he does. And uh, I'm trying to organize a banlist discussion stream on the weekend for you guys, so yeah. Please go to an American YCS and win. I will, I will go there this year. I don't know which one, but I will go there. Um, yeah. Also, everyone, quick reminder, follow me on Twitter at ccgjoshschmidt to just know when I'm streaming and whoever, when, when everyone is streaming. And uh, yeah, had a fun stream today. Finally fixed my internet connection as it seems. So uh, should be good for the future. And uh, yeah, see everyone. Bye.